Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 48 in chapter 4. In this one, we will work on the most typical problems in Newton's second law. And we can see we have a slope and object on it. And then we consider this is a frictionless, uh, super smooth surface. And then we just uh, consider determines acceleration. And then it tells you the motion of the object stationary and then after the displacement 12 meters it just reaches to this point and ask you to find its velocity at this point right so in this one first thing we need to determine its acceleration so we consider newton's second law we need to find the net force in this one we just draw the free body pictures the first force acting it gravity and then the next force acting it normal force and there we just uh, consider the uh, reference system x along this uh, motion along the slope and the y component is just uh, vertically to this slope and then the next one we need to project is the gravity at the two component x component and the y component agree so projected in the x component it becomes the mg sine theta. This one is mg cosine theta. How do we know it's sine theta or cosine theta? For we look at this one because this angle is theta, and this angle must also be theta. How can I do know that? You can see you can draw a triangle. After the triangle, this is positive. This is positive. Do you agree? And also, you can see. This degree equals with this degree. So in these two triangles, in these two triangles, it has two angles equal. So the third angle must equal. So therefore, we can say this angle is the theta. After you know this angle is theta, so you can say this is the gravity mg. So projected in the y, so the neighborhood side mg cosine theta. This side mg sine theta. So easy, right? The next one we write Newton's second law. So at the y component, it is f minus mg cosine theta equals zero. At s component, it's mg sine theta times mass times acceleration. In this way, very easily we can get this acceleration is equals g sine theta. Agree? The next problem tell you initial velocity. The displacement ask ask you to find the final velocity. Can you do that? Sure. Use our favorite equation. We know acceleration, we know initial velocity, and we know displacement. Super easy to find the final velocity. This is how we solve the problem. Use, so use this equation to solve the problems. Thank you.